Yarra Trams cancelled more services in the month of January than it did in the entire year of 2010. Andrew Lund is in Richmond with the exclusive details. Andrew, these are some of the worst figures on record. Uh, no question about it, Pete. They are indeed. Uh, the tram network carried more than 200 million people last year, but today executives were forced to admit that parts of the system simply can't cope with summer weather. The result was the worst cancellation rate since at least 2001, and this area was one of the worst affected, with more than 400 services cancelled on Route 78 alone. It was a warm summer, but the worst tram cancellation figures in more than a decade have put the heat on the government. It's absolutely staggering. It's been shocking. It's absolutely farcical. Nine News can reveal that in January, a total of 4,196 tram services were cancelled. That's more than the total number of cancellations all year in 2006, 2008, 2009 and 2010. The result is being blamed on hot weather. We made the decision in January that on the hot weather days we would actually take some of the older trams off the road because we know they break down in the hot weather. More than 1,000 trams were cancelled on routes 82 and 30 alone. 448 were scrapped on routes 78 and more than 300 on routes 19 and 6. Many were replaced by buses. It's not a long-term solution. You can't say our tram system is partly going to run as buses uh, forevermore. Uh, the government needs to invest in more air-conditioned trams and get those older trams in the fleet uh, replaced with newer ones. Transport bosses argue the cancellations helped improve reliability across the rest of the network and the 4,437 trams that terminated short of their destination was down on the monthly average. But with many trams nudging 40 years old, critics accused the government of failing to plan for the future. Melbourne's tram network is absolutely essential uh, to the livability of this city. Uh, yet this government's underinvestment in our tram network has meant to really poor performance. The Transport Minister's office issued a statement pointing to Labor's investment in 90 E-class trams and higher performance targets. They say that they've got new contracts, but the new contracts are clearly not working. The system is getting worse, much worse. Andrew Lund, Nine News.